Why should you care? What is the pros and cons of budgeting? Well in this video you are going to discover the unspoken truth about budgeting and learn about the you need a budget method. Beware of little expenses, a small leak will sink a great ship. Benjamin Franklin Have you ever wondered why, despite your best efforts and a stable income, you always seem to be scrambling to cover unexpected expenses? Or why your financial situation feels like a roller coaster, a dizzying mix of hope and anxiety with every transaction? If managing your money leaves you feeling overwhelmed and out of control, it's time to rethink your approach to budgeting. Managing your finances is about more than just keeping your head above water. It's about gaining control and making your money work for you, not the other way around. The realization that you need a budget is a crucial step towards financial stability. But if you've tried budgeting before and found it tedious, unsustainable, or just another source of guilt, you're not alone. Many people abandon their budgeting efforts after just a month, believing they're simply not cut out for it. Enter Jesse Metchum's You Need a Budget, YNAB, Method, a transformative approach to budgeting that will change how you interact with your finances. Unlike traditional budgeting systems, YNAB isn't about restricting your spending or making you feel guilty. Instead, it empowers you to make informed decisions, anticipate financial obligations, and adapt smoothly to life's unexpected expenses. The YNAB method is built around four intuitive rules that guide your relationship with money. Rule 1, Give Every Dollar a Job helps you allocate your income to specific categories, ensuring that every dollar has a purpose. This rule shifts your focus from simply tracking expenses to actively planning your spending. Rule 2. Embrace your true expenses, encourages you to break down large, infrequent expenses into manageable monthly amounts. This way, when the annual car insurance bill arrives or your laptop needs replacing, you're prepared. No more surprises or scrambling to cover big costs. Rule 3. Roll with the punches acknowledges that life is unpredictable. Instead of feeling defeated when you overspend in one category, YNAB teaches you to adjust your budget and move money around as needed. Flexibility is key to maintaining control over your finances. Finally, Rule 4, Aid Your Money, aims to help you break the paycheck to paycheck cycle by encouraging you to spend money that's at least 30 days old. This creates a financial buffer, reducing stress and giving you the freedom to make better financial decisions. By the end of this exploration of the YNAB method, you'll be equipped with the tools you need to transform your financial life. You'll be able to foresee obligations, adapt to the unexpected, and approach decision-making with less stress and more confidence. So, if you're ready to take control of your finances and stop wondering where all your money goes, the YNAB method is your roadmap to financial stability and peace of mind. About the author Jesse Meekham is the visionary founder of You Need a Budget, YNAB, a transformative financial platform that offers an innovative and effective approach to personal budgeting. With a background as a former accountant, Meekum has harnessed his expertise to create a system designed to help individuals and families gain control over their finances through straightforward, adaptable principles. His method not only simplifies budgeting but also empowers users to develop healthier financial habits. Mecham's passion for financial literacy extends beyond YNAB, he is a prolific contributor to various financial blogs and podcasts, where he shares his deep insights on budgeting, saving, and the psychological aspects of financial planning. His engaging style and practical advice have made him a trusted voice in the world of personal finance. Through his work, Meekum has helped countless people shift their perspective on money management, turning what often feels like a daunting task into an empowering experience. His dedication to improving financial literacy and his ability to demystify complex financial concepts have earned him a loyal following and widespread acclaim. At the core of Mechim's philosophy is the belief that everyone can achieve financial stability and peace of mind with the right tools and mindset. His innovative approach has transformed the lives of many, providing them with the knowledge and confidence to take control of their financial futures. In addition to his contributions to the financial community, Mechim's work with YNAB continues to evolve, offering new features and resources to support users on their financial journeys. His commitment to innovation and education ensures that YNAB remains at the forefront of personal finance management tools. Whether you're new to budgeting or looking to refine your financial strategies, Jesse Mechim's insights and the YNAB method provide a solid foundation for achieving your financial goals and fostering long-term financial well-being. Why is budgeting so hard? Sure, you know you need a budget. But there's a good chance that, like most people, the idea of actually doing it makes your heart sink. If it's such a necessary tool, why is it that you feel so reluctant? There are three big reasons why people struggle to manage their finances, even if they earn a comfortable income. 
The first is that they lack confidence. In the modern age, there are so many options and thousands of experts telling people what they should do with their money. You're not alone in thinking, how can I know what the right choice is? And what if I'm wrong? This ties into the second reason. People often don't have a clear and effective system to make financial decisions. They end up acting on impulse, and their spending or saving habits lack the consistency they need for a stable system. Finally, people have a natural fear of truly understanding their financial state. It can be daunting to confront the reality of your finances, which can feel like a black box of money in and money out. The prospect of uncovering what lies within can be so overwhelming that you might just want to avoid it completely. Shame, frustration, and self-doubt around money are huge barriers to proactive financial management. So, forget about the money. Okay, don't forget about the money completely. Obviously, money matters. But the real question you should be asking yourself is, what do I want my money to do for me? Each of the four rules of you need a budget, or YNAB, is based on this foundational question. Budgeting should be a tool to align your finances with your values and goals. It's about getting a truthful perspective of your situation and using that newfound perspective to make better decisions for your happiness. Ask yourself questions like, does it make sense to impulse buy these clothes when I can't afford the holiday I picture wearing them on? And is it worth ordering takeout now, when I'm going to feel guilty spending money out with my friends next week? Of course, there's nothing wrong with buying clothes or ordering takeout. The point is to spend your money in a way that makes sense for you. Rule 1. Give every dollar a job. There's a certain sense of relief that comes on payday when that lump sum finally gets deposited after weeks of hard work. Unfortunately, this moment of joy is when you're most likely to make short-sighted financial decisions. Time to slow down and think about the first of the four YNAB rules, give every dollar you receive a job. This rule is as simple as it seems. Before any of that paycheck leaves your account, you should assign every dollar you own a job that answers that golden question, what do I want my money to do for me? You're essentially writing a to-do list for your money. How these jobs are assigned is different for everyone, but it's a good idea to start with the essentials. Think shelter, food, safety, and utilities. What do you need this money to do before you're paid again? Now's the exciting bit. It's time to map out a plan for the life you want to live and assign these jobs to any money left over. By assigning every dollar a job, you remove the ambiguity of whether you can afford something because you've already decided what you want it to do. It curbs the stress of financial decision making. What you actually want is a personal question. Don't jump straight to the things you want to buy. Ask yourself, what do I want my life to look like? Then think about how your money will serve that vision. Let's say you want to save up and treat your kids. Should you do up the backyard or take them on a family holiday? If you value stability and building a good home life, maybe the backyard is the best option. If you want your kids to see the wide world and build experiences, go on vacation. Neither is wrong. It's about what is best for you. The power of this first rule lies in its simplicity. By knowing exactly what your money is supposed to do, you automatically avoid overspending and undersaving. Even if you change your mind, you need to make a conscious comparison between this change and what you originally intended. You're naturally building a proactive relationship with your money. Rule 2. Embrace your true expenses. Sometimes, life throws you a curveball. Your car needs repairs, or you need to call a plumber. These things are unpredictable, but that doesn't mean they have to derail your financial plans. The second rule of the YNAB method is to embrace your true expenses. This means taking a proactive approach to budgeting by acknowledging both predictable and unpredictable expenses as ongoing monthly obligations. While something like a car repair might be unpredictable, this sort of financial hurdle is part of life. You don't know when, but at some point, it's going to happen. So start treating all your expenses, even the infrequent or large ones, as if they're monthly bills. By doing so, you distribute the financial impact over several months, which smooths out your cash flow and reduces the month-to-month -month fluctuations that make budgeting feel like a roller coaster. Identify your larger, less frequent costs, and set aside a portion of your budget each month so that when the time comes to pay these bills, the money is already allocated. No need to scramble for funds. For example, if you know your car insurance is $600 every six months, instead of trying to find all of that when the bill is due, set aside $100 each month. This way, when the insurance payment rolls around, you've already budgeted for it incrementally. You can do the same thing for costs that you know are likely to occur at an unknown time in the future. Maybe you've got to pay a vet bill, or you're invited to a wedding and need to buy a gift. 
This second rule helps you to develop your intuition for financial consequences, beyond a number in your bank account. You begin to sense how much of a difference it makes to your life. By embracing your true expenses, your budgeting process becomes less stressful and more predictable. Implementing this rule allows you to maintain financial stability regardless of what life throws at you. Rule 3, Roll with the Punches Sometimes, being well prepared isn't enough. Sometimes you need to be flexible. This is the essence of the third YNAB rule, Roll with the Punches. Life is unpredictable. The future, even more so. Your budget needs to be flexible enough to accommodate those inevitable life changes without causing stress or guilt. If your budget isn't working for you, then it's time to reevaluate it. Your priorities will change throughout your life, and you need to recognize those shifts and adapt to them. When unexpected expenses arise, or you overspend in one category, you simply need to adjust your budget by shifting funds from another category where they're needed less. This adjustment helps you handle surprises effectively without derailing your financial goals. No budget is perfect, and adjustments should be a normal part of managing money effectively. For example, let's say you have to pay for that car repair a little earlier than you planned. You might decide to reduce your dining out budget for the month to cover those repair costs. Think back to your priorities and allow your money to do the jobs it needs to for your overall well-being. Sometimes, the changes are something big. Maybe you get engaged and need to start planning for a wedding. Maybe you're asked to move abroad for your job. Big changes in your life mean big changes in your budget. This rule essentially gives you permission to update your budget, reflecting your new priorities. The goal is to reduce the sense of guilt or pressure associated with strict budgets, making it easier to stick to your financial plan over the long haul. It empowers you to adapt to circumstances as they change, allowing you to strategize with your money based on new information. By embracing this rule, you align your budgeting practice more with real life, which is rarely predictable or linear. Adjustments aren't failures, and you don't need to start from scratch every time something big in your life happens. Instead, by letting yourself roll with the punches, you ensure your financial plan is both resilient and responsive to your ever-evolving financial needs. Rule 4, Age Your Money The fourth and final rule of YNAB is to age your money. This concept aims to break free from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle by increasing the time between when you earn money and when you spend it. Ideally, the money you're spending today should have been earned at least 30 days ago, if not longer. Why Aging Your Money Works By letting your money sit in your bank account for a longer period, you create a buffer that insulates you from the need to live off every paycheck immediately upon receipt. This reduces your stress levels and improves your overall financial stability because it lessens the impact of the unexpected twists of life. Essentially, you're building a financial cushion that allows you to plan better and handle surprises without derailing your budget. Creating a future-oriented financial plan The essence of aging your money lies in shifting your financial mindset. You start by giving the paycheck you earn now a job for the future. This means that money earned this month is used to cover the costs of the following month. By doing so, you gradually move from a reactive financial approach to a proactive one, where you're always ahead of your expenses. Increasing the age of your money The goal is to continuously increase the average number of days your money sits in your account before being spent. Older money indicates a healthier financial state because it shows that you are less dependent on incoming paychecks to meet your obligations. The longer your money ages, the more financial security you have, as you're not living paycheck to paycheck but instead planning for the long term. Building Discipline and Financial Stability Aging your money requires discipline. It's essential to resist the temptation to spend your paycheck immediately after you receive it. Instead, prioritize your future needs over your present desires. This shift in mindset helps you move from a just-in-time funding model, where every dollar is allocated and spent as soon as it comes in, to a more sustainable approach that allows for planning and flexibility. Practical Steps to Age Your Money Start by gradually increasing the time between earning and spending. Allocate your income to cover next month's expenses instead of this month's. This might mean tightening your belt temporarily, but the payoff is substantial. Once you've built a buffer, maintain it by continuing to budget for future months, always keeping your financial goals and priorities in mind. Achieving Financial Independence Ultimately, aging your money means you stop budgeting for money you don't have yet, and instead plan for something that is truly in your control. This approach reduces anxiety around payday and financial uncertainties, such as payroll delays or late client payments. By extending the life of your money, you create a cushion that puts your financial decisions in your own hands, paving the way for greater financial independence and peace of mind. Go debt-free 
by now, you should have a pretty good idea of what the YNAB method is all about. Planning for your financial future through budgets that bring you stability and freedom. But what happens when your financial future is being held back by your financial past? YNAB doesn't tell you how to spend the money that you have, but struggling to tackle debt is often a trigger for people to realize they need a budget in the first place. There's only one solution. Pay it off, as quickly as you can. The issue that you might have is that your debt keeps money away from your future priorities by paying off something that's already happened. That's the exact opposite of what you've been trying to achieve through applying the four rules. If rule four is aging your money, debt takes you in the opposite direction. It's giving your money a job before it's even yours to allocate. Don't allow debt to even become an option. But what about your mortgage or your student loans? Sometimes debts are necessary, or even good for things like improving your credit score. Not all debts are created equal. The rule of thumb is that you should never borrow money for something that will go down in value. A car loan? Not a great choice. A mortgage is better since land costs generally go up over time. Education is more of a mixed bag since it depends largely on what you study and how much of a return you get from that piece of paper. If you do have debt though, that doesn't mean you should beat yourself up over it. You can do the math on how much money you'll save paying off your loans earlier, but the real incentive to knuckle down is the mental relief from being debt free. The sooner you pay past obligations, the sooner you can get serious about your future. By freeing yourself from the burden of debt, you unlock the full potential of your financial planning and move forward with confidence and clarity, truly aligning your financial actions with your life goals. Managing money effectively goes beyond mere expense tracking, it's about transforming your entire financial mindset and habits. The YNAB Method's four rules provide a comprehensive framework to achieve this transformation, give every dollar a job, ensuring that each dollar you earn serves a purpose aligned with your values and goals, embrace your true expenses, preparing for both expected and unexpected costs as ongoing financial obligations, roll with the punches, adapting your budget flexibly to navigate life's unpredictable twists, and aid your money. Breaking free from living paycheck to paycheck by increasing the time between earning and spending your money. By following these principles, you not only gain control over your finances but also cultivate resilience against financial surprises. Assigning every dollar a job removes the ambiguity and stress from financial decision making, allowing you to prioritize what truly matters in your life. It's about more than just budgeting. It's about aligning your spending with your values and long-term aspirations, whether that's achieving financial security, supporting your family, or investing in personal growth. Practically, this approach helps build a buffer that insulates you from the anxiety of unexpected expenses and reduces the dependency on immediate income for day-to-day -day expenses. It's a proactive stance toward financial management that empowers you to make informed choices and adapt to changing circumstances without derailing your financial goals. As you age your money, you're not just planning for the future but actively creating a financial cushion that ensures stability and peace of mind. 1. A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Dave Ramsey 2. Every time you borrow money, you're robbing your future self. Nathan W. Morris As you reflect on these principles, consider how they resonate with your own financial journey. Are you currently giving every dollar a purpose? Are you prepared for both the expected and unexpected expenses? How flexible is your financial plan in adapting to life's changes? And are you actively working towards aging your money to achieve greater financial freedom? Take a moment to envision a life where financial stress is minimized, and your resources are directed towards what brings you joy and fulfillment. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing your financial future is secure because you've made deliberate choices today. So, as you move forward, ask yourself, are you ready to transform your financial life with YNAB? Share your thoughts, experiences, and questions in the comments below. Let's continue this journey together toward financial empowerment and peace. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more insights and practical tips for mastering your money. Your journey to financial freedom starts now.